Is it true you just came back from picking up Dwight Howard at the airport, Daryl? Is that true? That is accurate. Yeah, that okay. was that was awesome. Reunited, man. Okay, Great. so just in general, pre-pandemic, are you one of those people that picks people up at the airports, friends? Is that that's in your <laughs> nature, right? Is that what you is that are you one of those yeah, people? Yeah, it's just a nice touch. It's a nice touch. So, yeah, Elton Brand and I went out to greet him, especially cuz we worked together for 3 years, so Right. Yeah, you know, had a nice conference final run with him, so uh, it's good to get a champion, a recent champion. It's pretty cool. Now, obviously, you are what we would call an insider since you're the guy who's making these deals. But for all of us uh, taking uh, all of this in on Twitter, um, he tweeted out that he was going back to the Lakers and then deleted it. What what, what was your end of things on that front, Daryl? Might be better to ask him, but it seemed like there was some miscommunication, uh, which, you know, unfortunately can happen in free agency. There was none from us, though. We We were... We were trying to get him to come here the whole time, and uh, yeah, I think there was some miscommunication on a you know a higher dollar situation with them. And uh, but uh, you know we're happy it worked out with us. So when you was that one of those things where somebody uh, on your team or uh, just showed you a phone and said, "Hey, um, Dwight says he's going to the Lakers," and you were kind of calling somebody up to say, "Is this true?" I mean, what what was that from your end? Of things? Well, we were in constant conversations with the agent um so yeah we just checked in with the agent and made sure that right the report was true and 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 he said uh, he said no that uh that 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 was not true so yeah it, you know different things happen in free agency their deals canceled their trades canceled so you know it uh it gets a little wild and hairy during those times uh lots of uh lots of deals happening and they're all uh, verbal and uh, as as you saw with some deals in the past where people were trapped in houses, you know. It, yes. It still was signed on the dotted line. I think uh, I think free agency can get a little crazy. Yeah, you're not you're, you're not driving around knocking on doors, huh? To, <laughs> to see. Didn't didn't need to. It was nice just with the right. past relationship with Dwight and we had always kept it really positive and uh, um, you know the perfect fit. You know, I'm so so happy for him. He won his ring. Last year and uh, this year, you know, we got, we got. Um, I, was, I was about to mention the guy in trade. I can't mention, but anyway, we got, we got potentially two champions coming, uh, two recent champions coming, uh, and uh, I was really happy for Dwight that he won that ring, and he's looking to do it here in Philly next year. So, are you you're referring to somebody that you made a trade, uh, an acquisition, yeah, but it's some not of them aren't official? official right now. He caught caught me on a slightly not all official yet. Well, yeah, when, so. when does that become official? I've, um, I've, I, uh, I, I I know who you're referring yeah, to. Yeah, I mean, there might be a trade down the line i think it's like december 8th or something like that just okay. just because of the rules things take a little longer to unfold okay but uh, tj jefferson our sixer fan who's here he's talking about danny green okay just oh, okay. Uh, uh, it's not somebody that hasn't yet been reported and i don't want to get this man in any more trouble <laughs> so it's it's not okay? anthony davis is no no stop it oh. stop TJ, it i'm glad we have a we have the sixer fan uh oh yes you know, quiet, you know quietly uh influencing rich it's great <laughs> <laughs> well look I, I mean the 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 reported deals then um horford for green and terrence ferguson and josh richardson for curry and then obviously uh what well, you richardson just did for curry i can talk you about you can and, talk uh, about okay. you know yeah we're real real excited for uh, seth to uh to join the team obviously you know arguably the best shooter in the nba and those are pretty hard to get and uh you know we were we were just uh, thrilled and obviously uh doc's son-in-law which yes. is sort of a cool twist and so <laughs> so just uh, overall a really fun really fun uh, addition with seth hey you watched all the way to the end thanks for that watch more right here